guys, in this lesson uh, I wanted to uh, take a B-flat blues and uh, give you uh, some tools so that you can comp, uh, so play the chords in, uh, in a jazzy way, in the way that, uh, that you would normally do that um, in a jazz context. Uh, so the idea is this, that when you're playing jazz, usually you're not really uh, playing a steady pattern or a composed part, but you're improvising with the chords that you're playing behind the melody and behind the soloist and you're trying to do something that's going to fit what is happening in the music with uh, the drums or the soloist or the melody at that time. Uh, so to do that um, you need to have uh, a way to uh, vary all the chords. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, uh, we're just going to go over the blues, B flat blues, the way they're normally played and uh, then I'm going to give you, um, it's not exactly a scale, it's more like a uh, few variations of each chord that are easy to play and sort of based on the same chord um, and then we're going to talk a bit about how you can develop that into uh, playing uh, through a blues. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just go over the B flat blues. Um, a 12 bar B flat blues, the way you would find that played in, in a jazz situation on a song like uh, Tenor Madness, um, you would have this, you have to B flat. B flat 7, B flat 7, B flat, B finished, B flat, D half finished, G7, C minor 7, F7, and I'll turn around. Okay, so that's that's the corporation. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's a little bit more complex than uh, your uh, normal uh, blues, uh, 12 hour blues, the way uh, you find it in a blues band, but it's not really that much more complicated than a few extra chords. Um, so the first chord you need to tackle is the B flat. Um, the way I just played it, I was making it clear what the sound was and I was also playing the root. Uh, if you need to vary the chord, you need to be a little bit flexible with the fingering, so it's easier to do that if you're actually not playing the root. So if we start with um, the, same, uh, the same shape, but without the root, you have this, and then you can play this short uh, scale. And probably to get more familiar with that, I mean, you need to. You need to practice it a bit like this, just to run up and down and get used to it and get it in your fingers, which is not, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and then maybe start improvising, just thinking, okay, this is a B flat. Get a bit free with it, be able to play it in time. Um, okay, so for the E flat seven, we have uh, these. We're basing it off this voicing, and then I'm playing it like this. And of course, the same goes for that one. is an E diminished and the chords I would suggest you check out for that would be something like this something like that um, the next chord we come across of course the blues goes back to B flat, but um, the next chord that we didn't uh, talk about before would be the D half diminished, which is in the cadence leading to the C minor. Uh, you can play something like... Um, uh, and it 
it's followed by a G7, which could be something like this. Then we get the C minor. And the F7, which is essentially the same as the uh, G flat, uh, the G7. And then you have all the chords, because the next, the other chords would be to B flat and then a G7, we already had that one, C minor, F7. Um, to keep it simple, I chose to um, to alter the G7 and the F7 just to have the same bottle shape. Then if you have that in your fingers, um, then um, you sort of have that down right away. Um, you could probably also consider checking out the F7 using the same as the E flat 7, so that would be this. Uh, because depending on the melody uh, that you're playing behind or the soloist, he might not use the alter scale or play any alterations. Uh, and if it really clashes, then uh, this is the thing you need to fix probably. Um, okay, so how to practice this? Um, the first thing I would suggest to do is, of course, just to play it on one for each chord, just sort of mess around with it a bit, improvise with it, see if you come up with some melodies. Um, and then just start playing uh, playing the blues slowly. Uh, so, let's see if it, in the tempo, like one, two, three, four. Another way that can be good to practice this is um, to write down uh, melodies with those chords. So you write uh, half note melodies, for instance. So you're always playing each chord twice, and you have to make sensible melodies with the chords on top of it. So you need to sort of choose your uh, melody notes and your chord voicings so that it makes sense um, to, as a melody with the top note. Um, an example of this would be something like this. You can write that. Uh, you can write them down and compose them just to make make sense of them in the beginning, um, and then later maybe just start improvising like that. So you can just play. So that was a short introduction uh, to how I, um, I approach uh, comping um, use, and then uh, an example using a B flat blues with uh, maybe a little few fewer voicings than uh, what I would normally employ but you can actually easily make a decent comping like this um, and of course that's something you can easily uh, expand into a chord solo uh, because you're already playing melodies and the idea with playing a chord solo is actually just playing melody and then playing the chords at the same time. So.
basically using using a few other chords, but mostly it's just using the stuff that I just went over. Um, I hope you can use it, and uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, have any comments uh, or suggestions for other topics, then uh, leave them here in the video, or uh, feel free to connect with me on uh, Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus, and let me know there. Um, and if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, press like, and thank you for watching.